Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsblob.com and in this video I will show you how to plot all columns of a data frame in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data by clicking on the data frame object and then a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data frame. As you can see our data has 10 rows and 4 columns whereby the first column is specifying a range from 1 to 10 which is corresponding to the values in the three other columns y1, y2 and y3. So if we want to plot these data with the basic installation of the R programming language, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 8 to 10. So in these lines of code, I'm first creating a plot with the plot function, as you can see in line 8 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm only plotting the data that is shown in the variable y1 and obviously the corresponding column x. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom right of RStudio, a new plot is created, which is showing only one line. And this line is showing the data points contained in the variable y1. Now, if we want to add further columns to this plot, then we can apply the lines function, as you can see in lines 9 and 10 of the code. In line 9 of the code, I'm plotting the data contained in the variable y2 and in line 10 of the code I'm plotting the data contained in the variable y3. So as you can see after running all of these lines we have created a plot which is showing the data contained in our three variables y1, y2 and y3. However, you can also see that this plot is relatively plain and simple and many people prefer to draw their data with the ggplot2 package which is provided in the R programming language. And for that reason I want to show you a second example in which I'm drawing all columns of our data frame using the ggplot2 package. And if we want to plot our data with the ggplot2 package, we first need to reorder our data frame. And this is what I'm doing here in lines 12 to 16 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data frame object appears. And this data frame object consists of three columns, x, y, and a grouping column. And the grouping column is simply specifying which of the values in the variable y corresponds to y1, to y2 or to y3. As next step we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 18 and 19 of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 19 of the code and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. Now if we want to draw all of these lines in a single plot window. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 21 and 22 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can also draw this plot to RStudio by running line 23 of the code. And now you can see that a new plot is created, which has this typical ggplot2 layout and which is showing the three lines corresponding to the three columns of our original data frame. What you can also see is that at the right of this plot a legend is shown which is also specifying which of the lines is corresponding to which column. However, you can also see that all of the lines are shown in the same plot window. And for that reason I want to show you another example which is also based on the ggplot2 package. And in this example, I'm drawing each of the lines in a different plot panel. And uh, we can do that by simply running line 25 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the ggplot2 data object that we have created before. And then I'm adding to this plot object the facet grid function. And within the facet grid, 
I'm specifying the grouping column and that I want to use all of the columns of my data. So if you run line 25 of the code, you can see that a new plot is shown at the bottom right of RStudio. And in this plot, you can see three different plot panels. And in each of the panels, one of our columns is shown. So in this video, you have learned different alternatives on how to plot columns of a data frame in a plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment in the comments section below the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.